Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another video. So in this video, I'm going to share with you my opinion as well as my experience with Share Moisture's 10 in 1 Multi Benefit Hair Mask. So this is the mask in their Super Fruit range. It's quite a popular mask, but I'd never tried it. Um, and then I came across it when I went to one of the drugstores that I get my hair products out of. And I thought I'll give it a shot. So um, it's called 10 in 1 Multi Benefit Hair Mask because it is supposed to have lots of benefits. For example, it is meant to renew vibrancy to dry brittle hair, so add moisture. And it also treats damaged hair and um, can also strengthen hair. And it's supposed to be color safe and um, it also adds softness and shine. So it's got a few ingredients, as I said. Um, but the ones that caught my eye are you know, things like coconut oil, it's got glycerin in it, some biotin, some marula oil, as well as the superfood. So it's got things like raspberry, avocado, um, etc. It also has caffeine, which I thought was really interesting. So you're supposed to apply this to clean hair. So I'd already shampooed my hair at this point and my hair was still wet. However, um, I had a glass of warm water with me in case my hair had got too dry as I was applying the mask. And this is what it looks like. It is white in color and it is super, super thick. Um, you know, this is not going to go anywhere. It's not going to come out of that tub unless you actually take it out. So um, this is something that's common with the Shea Moisture masks. They are really, really thick. So personally, I don't mind that thickness, but if you prefer your mask to be um, a little thin than that, that you can just... Um, sort of thin it down by adding a little bit of warm water to it. So I sectioned out my hair because I just find it easy to work in sections. And um, this also ensures that you don't miss any bits. Because um, if you just apply it, you know, in one whole big um, chunk, then you might end up missing bits. So I apply this from the roots all the way to the ends and I actually made sure that I added a little bit more to the ends. These are the weakest parts of the hair, the oldest parts and uh, the ones which are more prone to damage. So you do want to make sure that they are um, treated really well. And what I noticed, the texture of my hair, honestly, it was incredible that um, the mask, you know, had really softened my hair almost instantly. My hair was wet, obviously, um, because I shampooed it, but you could feel the texture actually changing. And the more I worked the product into my hair, the softer my hair got. And this also has that rice protein, remember the hydrolyzed rice protein. And I could also feel, um, you know, the way your hair feels when you're adding a protein treatment, that there was a strengthening to it. But because it's got moisturizing ingredients in it, it didn't feel that you know, the dry and brittle textures that you sometimes get with protein treatments. So I really, really enjoyed applying this. And as I was applying it, I could smell it. And, that, you know, it's got some perfume in it. And the, I suppose, the scents of the fruits, you know, the raspberry, etc. You could smell that. And um, it wasn't offensive. It wasn't too overpowering. It was actually quite nice. I like this. Um, but obviously, you need to smell this and see for yourself whether you, li you like it. So I really worked this product into my hair and I saw that that actually made a difference. So I didn't have to use a lot of products. The important thing was to apply it to wet hair and then work it into the hair. So a little really does go a long way. And I think that's important, particularly for people with hair that's much thicker than mine, much longer than mine, because there's 355 mils in the tub and you might think they, you know, that's, they, it's not going to be enough, but actually a little goes a long way. And remember, you can actually thin it down by mixing a little bit of water um, into the mask. And that way you don't have to suffocate your hair with product. So I recommend that you really work the product into your hair because then you actually feel the difference. Um, if you just apply it and plonk it on, um, it doesn't make that much of a difference. But if you really work it in and make sure that each and every strand is coated, you will instantly feel the benefits of the mask. So as I was just demonstrating here, by working in small sections, there were no areas that I missed. So I just um, tucked that away um, and then went on to apply the mask throughout the rest of my hair as I'm demonstrating.
So after I had applied it throughout my hair, I just covered my hair with a plastic bag and then I let it get to work for about 30 minutes. I actually used uh, my electric steamer on top of this plastic bag because I find using indirect heat is more effective, particularly with low porosity hair. So just demonstrating, you know, that I actually did not need to use a lot of products. There was plenty left over. So I left it in for 30 minutes, but you could actually leave it for just five minutes. Apparently that's going to be long enough. So this is what my hair looked like after the 30 minutes. And as you can see, um, a lot of it had been absorbed in my hair. Honestly, it felt really, really, really soft. So that was actually interesting that despite it having rice protein in it, my hair didn't feel um, that dry as it sometimes does with a protein treatment. So I found that really interesting. So the mask, it doesn't have a lot of slip, but it's not unusual with these thick hair masks. Masks are not really there for detangling. So um, if you doesn't have a lot of slip, not to worry. Sometimes it can if you add a lot more water to your hair. In my experience, a mask isn't necessarily for detangling. Um, an instant rinse out conditioner is more useful for that. So I rinsed it out with lukewarm water and these are the results. My hair felt really, really soft and also really strengthened. So um, I really like that. I found that I didn't actually have to use a moisturizing deep conditioner treatment afterwards, which I normally do after protein treatment. Um, I just used a moisturizing rinse out conditioner and that was enough. So all in all, I really like this product and um, it's something that I will use from time to time. I'm going to be honest, this is probably not my favorite hair mask by Shea Moisture, but I still liked it. So if you've used it, please let me know in the comment section. Then I'm sure other people would like to know about your experience. Um, but that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that and I hope you found it useful, at least to give you an idea of how this mask works. Uh, but before I go, I'd like to give my subscribers and everybody engaging with the content a big thank you. I really appreciate your love and support. If you've not yet subscribed to the channel, then please subscribe. And I'd also appreciate it if you give the video a thumbs up and also sign up for notifications so that you know when I have a new video on the channel. So I'll see you in my next video. Until then, take care of yourselves and take care of your loved ones. God bless. Bye for now.